Oh yeah, let's learn English with the legendary Michael Jordan. What's up everyone? I'm Andrea, your real life English fluency coach. And today we have a fantastic lesson for you where you will learn lots of vocabulary related to basketball. Now, in case you didn't know, Michael Jordan is recognized as the greatest basketball player of all time and for his contribution to the game for the Chicago Bulls. The Last Dance is a fantastic documentary mini-series made by Netflix, which I highly recommend you watch if you haven't already, because it's truly inspirational. When I first got to Chicago, I went in considering myself the lowest on the totem pole. A tall wooden pole with symbols cut or painted on it is part of the tradition of the Native Americans. By saying that he was at a low point on the pole, he means that as a newcomer to the team, he had no authority. He further develops this idea here. Whatever people have been saying about me, I still had to earn my stripes. If you earn your stripes, you do something to deserve a new position or a higher status. Example, he earned his stripes playing for the reserve team. When he arrived into the gym on the first day of practice, you can see that this guy is the best player here. This, this cat is, uh, is different. Cat is an informal way to refer to a man. I've seen this a million times. This guy's playing a game, and we're going to play right back. Just keep cool, and this cat will come to us. And when he does, I promise you, I'll be there with my whopping stick. Now, in case you're new here, we want to let you know that every week we make lessons just like this one to help you learn fast English without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. Just like Betty, who says that by watching our lessons every week, she can now understand The Ellen Show all on her own. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so that you don't miss any of our new lessons. When we drafted Michael, I did not know how good Michael was. In American sports, to draft a player means to select him for a team through the draft. A draft is a process used in some countries in sports to allocate certain players to teams. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. Chicago Bulls having the third pick in the draft and went with the sensational Michael Jordan of North Carolina. In a draft, teams take turns selecting from a pool of eligible players. When a team selects a player, the team receives exclusive rights to sign that player to a contract and no other team in the league may sign the player. Do you still struggle to understand fast speaking natives? Then why not check out our Fluent with Friends course? In this 48 week course, you will learn with the first two seasons of Friends. Every week you'll receive PDF power lessons, vocabulary memorization software, access to our Fluency Circle global community, and so much more. And the best part is you can try it right now for free with our three-part masterclass. All you have to do is click up here or in the description box below to learn more and sign up now. And he said to me, congratulations. And I said, for what? And he said, you did not screw this draft up. This guy is really good. If you screw something up, you make a big mistake. Here, not drafting Michael Jordan would have been a screw up because he went on to become such a big star. I'm so, I'm so sorry, man. I really screwed that up. Uh, really? No. Don't worry about it. Hi, this is Monica Geller. Yeah, I'm, I'm just calling to say that Chandler and I uh, really hope that you can make it to the wedding. Yeah, apparently a bunch of the invitations that we sent uh, weren't delivered. Um, I guess there was some screw up at the damn post office. Oh my! 48 for Michael Jordan! Say the 
As you might know, we use Oh My God or its alternative Oh My Gosh when we're really surprised about something. Sometimes we might also shorten this to Oh My, but the meaning is the same. This is an example where for some reason this character also shortens Sister and Gorgeous into Oh my sis, you look gorge! Oh my god, you have goosebumps. You are going to be the bride of darkness. Here, meet my friends! <gasps> Monica! You look gorgeous! Uh, oh my, the last time I saw you was eat or be eaten. <laughs> The game commentator here is blown away by Michael Jordan's high scoring game. As you'll see now, he went on a streak of great performances. You like 49 on Thursday? How about 50 on Sunday? Pull up shot on Perry, good. 52 for Jordan. Michael, right baseline jumper, good, and a foul called. There's some interesting basketball vocabulary in this lesson. The narrator here says Michael did a pull up shot. In order to understand this, first let's take a guess at what the phrasal verb pull up means. To come to a stop, to sprint, to faint. When you're driving a car, to pull up means to stop the car. Oh, wait a minute. Cop car just pulled up, Jeff. What is that? As a basketball move, a pull-up shot is a shot in which the player dribbles the ball as he's moving fast and then stops and takes a jump shot. A jump shot, also known as jumper, is the act of throwing the ball as you jump up. In basketball, this is useful to prevent being blocked by your rival. Michael, right baseline jumper, good and a foul called! The referee calls a foul. This is what we say when the referee in basketball, but also other games, announces that a rule of the game has been broken. I'm sorry, Jonah, but uh, I'm gonna ah. it's foul. <laughs> Doctor foul. says. Michael shooting for the tie with no time left. Overtime in Boston Garden. Michael shoots for the tie. This means that if he scores, the game will be tied. The point Michael scored here was definitive to make the game have an overtime. In NBA, when a game ends in a tie inside of the four quarters of 12 minutes each, the game goes on to extra time for five minutes to decide the winner. Jordan hits it, 56 for Jordan, 61 points to tie at all time. Single game playoff record. As it's the case here, if you throw a basketball, you'd say that you hit it if the ball goes through the hoop. In more general terms, anything that you try your chances or luck in, if you succeed, you'd say that you hit it. 61 points to tie all time. Single game playoff record. When we say all time, we mean of all time. For example, Michael Jordan is considered to be the best basketball player of all time. You could say Michael Jordan is the all time best basketball player. Similarly, we can talk about an all time record. Jordan here scored the most points ever in a playoff game. Talking about records, we often say someone sets a record, which other word also often collocates with record. To this day, no one has been able to beat Michael's record. It was a high scoring game. Fortunately for us, we had the last shot. Many times we can change a sentence like the situation was risky to it was a high risk situation. Let's take a look at some examples where people use high to make an adjectival phrase. The task force has made some busts, but we still haven't found any high level dealers or major drug stashes. Howard Wallowitz, Caltech Department of Applied Physics. You may be familiar with some of my work. It's currently orbiting Jupiter's largest moon, taking high resolution digital photographs. Penny, I work at the Cheesecake Factory. Bird, pick and roll. A pick and roll is an offensive, on the attack basketball move. You can see it in this video. We say that something is hard fought if something like a win or achievement took a lot of effort. It's the opposite of an easy win. 
Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, we'll see what happens. And congratulations to you on a hard-fought race. After this game, the Celtics had a 2-0 lead over the Bulls. That means that they had won two games and the Bulls none. We were fortunate to win that game, but Michael put on a show. To put on a show means to have an excellent performance that's spectacular to see. Example, Ronaldo put on a show in the World Cup. I've been going at him for six hours. He won't say a word. The guy's a brick wall. Not to worry, Sarge. I'll take it from here. Hope you boys brought popcorn, because I'm about to put on a show. Our Miller Lite most valuable player of the game is Michael Jordan, with an all-time record 63 points in a single playoff game. As the name suggests, the most valuable player, also often shortened as MVP, is the best performing player in an entire league for a particular competition or a specific team. As it's the case in this clip, it's also often used to mean the player of the match. That's to say the individual who had the better game within the two teams playing. We end up winning the series, but it was an incredible, incredible playoff performance. I've never seen it before and I had never seen it after. That wasn't Michael Jordan out there. It was God disguised as Michael Jordan. A disguise is something that you wear or use to change your appearance so that people do not recognize you. It's not the same as a costume, like for example the costume you wear at Halloween. The person speaking here is Larry Bird, another legendary basketball player. The use he's given this expression is metaphorical. He's saying that Michael's performance was godlike, he played so well that he didn't look human. Let's watch a short variety of cases and context where people use the word disguise. All right, let's go over our disguises. I am Herbert Goffelman from San Diego. I came here to stand in the cold outside the Today Show holding a sign with a misspelled word on it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my God, you slept with the same girl twice in a row? Was it a mistake? Was she wearing some kind of disguise? This is the great disguise, huh? Oh, Fry cook. No, no, this is my horrible night job. In fact, I was hoping you could drop me off at Chicken Dance when we're all done. If you're enjoying this lesson, then I highly recommend you check out our lesson with the late Kobe Bryant next. You can click up here or in the description box below to watch it next. Nobody like him. <laughs> point blank. If something is point blank or you say something point blank, you say it in a very definite and direct or not very polite way. Example, she gave him a point blank refusal. What were you and your show? Didn't you tell him? Yes! What are you talking about? We discussed it the other day at lunch. I don't remember you telling me that. What? You told me point blank. You discussed it. This Everybody. Not I cool. did discuss it! A word with a similar meaning is blunt. Henrietta, I'm sorry if this is blunt, but I think I owe you this. I don't want to be with you. Right now? <laughs> Ever. I like your place, and uh... I mean, you can, you can include all of them. Jordan is the, the most talented player in the NBA, uh, by far. We say by far to emphasize how much better, bigger, etc. something or someone is in comparison with other things or other people. Example, this is by far the biggest city in the country. I am by far the most qualified person they're interviewing. Jim and Karen are here, which is cute. They're like kid actors tagging along with daddy on the big audition. When I first got to Chicago, I went in considering myself the lowest on the totem pole. Whatever people have been saying about me, I still had to earn my stripes. When he arrived into the gym on the first day of practice, you can see that this guy is the best player here. This this cat is uh is different. That wasn't Michael Jordan out there. It was God disguised as Michael Jordan.
first day of practice, I got a call from an assistant coach, and he said to me, congratulations. And I said, for what? And he said, you did not screw this draft up. This guy is really good. For the first day in practice, my mentality was, whoever is the team leader on that team, I'm going after him. And I'm not going to do it with my voice, because I had no voice. And a hard-fought victory for the Boston Celtics to take a 2 to nothing lead. Dear Basketball. From the moment I started rolling my dad's tube socks and shooting imaginary game-winning shots in the Great Western Forum, I knew one thing was real. I fell in love with you. <laughs> 